Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1989 20 pence coin from Great Britain or the United Kingdom. We're going to go over everything that you'd want to know about this coin, from the design to the value and its history. Um, first, I'll say thank you to MA Shops, though. They're our sponsor for today, ma-shops.com. Uh, it's a trusted online marketplace with ancient U.S. and world coins, paper money, stamps, and other collectibles, so great source for world coins. Check them out. Now this coin in front of us, uh, we see Queen Elizabeth II, she's still reigning, started in 1952 after the death of King George VI. Um, the DG Reg FD stands for, uh, I'll just translate it directly, but by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith. Um, the engraver is Raphael McClough on this side, um, and on the reverse, it's William Maven Gardner, which just shows, uh, sort of, you can see that WG, but the denomination, the crown, um, and the Tudor Rose, uh, which has significance in British history. It's a copper nickel coin. This coin uh, is still able to be used. They call it an equilateral curve heptagon, where it's a heptagon with sort of curved edges. It weighs five grams. It's a little bit smaller than a U.S. quarter for reference, um, with a diameter of 21.4 millimeters across. And they had this portrait from 1985 to 1997. Um, before that, uh, or after that, excuse me, they used this coin with an older Queen Elizabeth II, um, and I believe that before that they had an even younger looking Queen Elizabeth II, so sort of evolved over time. Um, now, in terms of the value here, there's still, since it circulates, sort of a base value near 25 cents to 30 cents, just on the exchange rate between the pound and the U.S. dollar. Um, the mintage for this specific year was pretty high, 132,013,890, and a lot of the coins back then were differently sized uh, than they are now, like they downsized the 5 and 10 pence coins, but the 20 pence has been constant, so you can still you know, find this reasonably easily. Um, there's not going to be much of a value premium unless you have one of the uh, proof coins or their special sets, uh, in which case that would be like three US dollars. If you have one of these in really uncirculated shape, you know, it could be conceivable to get maybe 50 cents to a dollar for it for somebody who's collecting a full set. But because of the ready availability, it's more just something cool to identify what it is, the little bit of history behind it, and understand that it can still be spent in British currency sort of circulation. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.